Hi there, I'm Nicole, project manager with Crowd the Tap, and I'm here today to tell you all about the lemon test and how to perform it. If you've gotten this far in the Crowd the Tap process, you've already checked your pipes with the penny and magnet, done your water chemistry strip test, and entered your data at crowdthetap.org. Thanks for your participation so far. The lemon test will help us get more reliable results from this off-the-shelf lead test. In the kit you received, you'll find a large bottle, a small bottle, your kit ID slip, and the water safe lead test. Write your name on the small bottle and fill out the kit ID slip. But don't open that lead test just yet. Now, this is very important before you collect your sample, you'll want to choose a tap in your home that can remain unused overnight. Make sure everyone in your household knows not to use that tap for at least six hours. They can use other ones, but not that one. This is so the water will have enough time to accumulate any lead that may be present in your pipes. You'll also need some lemon juice or white vinegar. Measure out three tablespoons and put them in the large bottle before collecting your water sample. So, once you've waited overnight and put lemon juice in your large bottle, now you can go to the unused tap and place the bottle underneath before you turn on the faucet so you don't miss the very start of the water stream. Then fill the bottle almost to the top. Just leave a little room so you can shake it up. Put the cap back on and shake for about 10 seconds. But don't open up that test kit yet. The water you collected, along with the lemon juice, needs to sit for about 24 hours. Why do we do this? Well, there can be two different kinds of lead contamination in water, dissolved and particulate. Neither one is visible to us. And this kit can only detect dissolved lead, but that's where the lemon juice or vinegar comes in. They break down particulate lead and turn it into dissolved lead that can be detected by the test kit, but this takes time. So after you've waited 24 hours for the lemon juice to dissolve any particulate lead that may have been present in your water, shake your bottle up again for 10 seconds. Then completely fill the small bottle with water poured from the large bottle. This small bottle, along with your kit ID slip, is what you'll be returning to us. They'll be shipped to the lab for further testing. Now, finally, you can open your water safe lead test. Inside, you'll find the instructions, a dropper, a small test tube, and the test strip. Using the large bottle, submerge the end of the dropper in your water sample. Squeeze the bulb at the top to push out the air, then let go to fill the dropper with water. You'll want to make sure that the lower bulb of the dropper is completely full before proceeding. Holding the test tube upright, empty the dropper into the tube. Squeeze as much water out of the dropper as you can. Find the end of the test strip that has two arrows and place the strip into the test tube with the arrows pointing down. Then let the strip sit in the water for 10 minutes. Take the strip out and use the key in the direction booklet to read your results. With the arrows on the test strip still pointing down, you should see one or two blue lines between the ones and twos. If the bottom line, closer to the ones, is darker than the top line, or if there is only one line, the test is negative, and that's what you'll report. If the top line, closer to the twos, is the darker one, or if they're equally dark, the test is positive. If there are no blue lines or both lines are very light, the test did not run properly and the result is not valid. Now, the only thing left to do is submit your results to Crowd the Tap and send in your small sample bottle along with the Kit ID slip. And that's the lemon test. 
Thank you so much for your participation and for helping us crowd the tap.